Shattered.
Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Yeah. 
Leave the wounded to me. Shine down. Just run from dead.
It's constant over the centuries. But human life is like the duo. This realm is truly beginning to thrive. I cannot help but be stirred. If you ever have any questions about the realm within, you may ask me. Making camp, starting a fire, uh, cooking food, and maintaining equipment. Uh, these are all essential tasks that must be done. If the others dislike such duties, and if I can uh, well, manage them to a satisfactory degree, uh, then the least I can do is to help out. Mm, that way, everyone can have a breather and uh, relax a little. To be honest, even I was amazed that I managed to receive a vision. It's really come in handy, but I shouldn't completely rely on its powers. Instead, 
I prefer to think of it as a sort of safeguard to use in case something happens. As a member of the Knights of Favonius, I should place more importance on team cooperation and uh, come up with ways to overcome difficulties together with my teammates. Before joining the Knights, I had to take a number of exams. Captain Kaya was the main person in charge of all the testing. He was really supportive and gave me all kinds of tips, but sometimes I would struggle to understand what he was saying. I would get worried that I was not keeping up with his pace and that I was letting him down. Grandmaster Barka is not only a strong leader who commands respect, but also my personal combat instructor. He taught me to think on my feet and avoid engaging enemies at close combat to make up for my small stature and relative lack of stamina. <laughs> Following his advice, I learned how to fight with a polearm and crossbow, and I must say, this fighting style is far more suitable to me. The deputy... Uh, oh, I mean... The acting Grand Master is a strong and considerate leader who always makes me feel at ease. She's always out there looking after all of us. Whether it's organizing work, rendering first aid, or <laughs> cooking delicious meals. There's so much I can learn from her. Oh, Amber the Outrider? She's the most reliable vanguard and has amazing reconnaissance skills. The roles of frontline surveyors and the outriders are similar, given that we both operate ahead of the main force. Amber has a lot of experience, and I've learned a lot of survival skills from her, as well as how to better maintain my crossbow strings and arrows. Captain Eula is a strong fighter with a combat style of her own, and she's always looked out for me. When I first joined the company, she assigned me a variety of tasks way more than what other members had, and that quickly improved my ability to adapt. Once I grew accustomed to the way she expresses herself, I was able to work together with her just fine. Actually, I really admire Captain Eula. She is friendly and free-spirited. Oh, and her mental fortitude is out of this world. Oh, if other people gave me strange looks all the time and talked behind my back like they do about her, I don't think I'd be able to leave my room. Our librarian Lisa had always offered her help when I was first teaching myself how to draw maps. She even found a bunch of useful books for me to study. <sighs> if only I could be as well-learned as she is. After all, it never hurts to have more knowledge and you never know when you might need it. Oh, Klee? <laughs> she's super cheerful, and I've heard that. She's as strong as the Grand Master himself. She's invited me to go on adventures with her before, and we always had a great time together. Mm. Although, she would experiment with dangerous weapons from time to time. Which means I've had to revise my maps on several occasions. <laughs> but I still feel it's worth it. I really like that bard. He's a very talented performer. Oh, and his melodies always seem to make me feel at home. <laughs> if I had to pick a tune that best represents Mondstadt, oh, it'd definitely be one of his. It's too bad that I'm not often in the city. Otherwise... I could bring him some gifts every day. The Chief Alchemist has been very kind to me. He helped me make all the survey equipment I use in the field. I even have some pens he made that will work even when I'm hanging upside down from a tree. But it seems that making artistic sketches is quite different from making maps. I've tried to make some sketches of a target area as, um... Supplemental intel before? Oh. And word has it that Captain Albedo went silent for a long time when he saw them. Ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to become a cartographer and map out every corner of Tevat. 
It's only later on that I discovered the Knights of Favonius actually have that kind of role. Thanks to my father and brother's support, I was able to make it through the selection process and become a frontline surveyor. This job huh, has let me live out my dreams, and it's already brought me lots of fulfillment. Everyone in the Knights of Favonius oh, is really strong, and I feel like there's something I can learn from each member. After gaining new skills from everyone, I should also do my best to return the favor. So if there's anything the others need help with, then I'll do my best to make that happen. Mika's personality hasn't changed one bit since he's been out with the expedition, though his abilities have improved significantly. The Grand Master is clearly making sure nobody neglects their training. Hmm? Mika's unaware of his own improvement? It must be one of his blind spots. Or perhaps he's just being humble. Either way, things like this don't escape me. I know my team. When Mika was assigned to the Reconnaissance Company, I thought he'd only last a few days, just like the others before him. But he surprised me. He never made a peep, but he completed all of his tasks quite admirably. He even volunteered to run errands for me and assist with communication. <laughs> I don't know who is going around telling people that I need looking after.